Hey guys, how are you? So, um, I went to the future stores in Brooklyn. Um, and I want to show you guys uh, some of my things that I purchased. I went there yesterday. I didn't get a chance to, like, you know, show you what I got because it was already a long enough video as is. So, I'm going to show you a few things that I purchased. Um, a few of the pieces you already seen. Like, for example, this Green Day shirt. It had words in the back of it. It looks kind of like a, a tour shirt. Oh, it is! It's, it's called the 90 Re Re Revolutional, sorry, Revolution Tour shirt. Look at that. It was actually a, a tour shirt. I just thought it was cool. I like the color green, green with the with the pink. See, ninety nine Revolution Tour. So it is one of their tour shirt. Okay, a parents, a parents in life. I guess these are the songs that um they performed on the tour. Yeah, so I guess those was the performs they the songs. I'm sorry, the songs they perform on the on the tour. But I like it. It's cute, green and pink kind of go wrong. I purchased this because I thought this could have went with my twelve. I also purchased this twelve from the thrift store. I still have the tag on it. It's been a purchase. Oh, I don't. Oh yes, I do. I still have the tag in it. I paid. Is it twenty five dollars? What's the tag? I don't think it's $25, but I paid like around... Oh, here it is. $44.95. It was pretty clean. Um, it looked like they probably wore it once or so. Or it looked like they probably didn't even... Nah, they wore it once. If you really look deep into it, you'll see like a little things so they probably wore it once or twice I'm not sure but it was my my size I was lucky enough to find this cuz when these came out it was gone so you know not bad for $44.95 not bad at all so it definitely had to cop these and they are my size too size 8 yep they're definitely my size my for, first pair of Jordans that I actually had was the Jordan's 12. Yeah, that was like my first pair I, I had. Probably in like 2000 and two, I don't know, it was like the early 2000s. But it wasn't that color. It was um the, what color was it? The white and black ones. I, I have one in my house. Well, in my room somewhere. Where is it? A replica. I found this. These was actually my first pair. Not this exact one, but you know, this this 12. I forgot the name of this 12, but this was my first pair of Jordans I I ever had. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. What else I purchased from the the shop? I purchased I'm surprised that I even found these cuz these go for like 300 cuz they're so hard to find. The 11s also forgot the name on it. I, I I don't really stay on top of the name of these Jordans no more. I used to. I know a little bit, but not all of it. And this cost sixty-five dollars. Uh, focus. So it's focusing on me. Come on. There you go. Cost sixty-five dollars. And um, I got this from. And I got this from Crossroads. $65. You can't go wrong. Um, this The bottom is originally black. As you can see, you know, the person did wore it. I'm not sure how often they wore it. They probably wore it, I don't know, three to four times. It looked like it has been, you know, worn quite a bit. It does look a little clean, but if you look really in the little lines yeah you can tell they wore it these are supposed to be sparkly yeah as you can, it's sparkling a little this is supposed to be a 14 carat 
I don't know. That's what they say. It's supposed to be 14 karat. I'm not sure if the laces is supposed to be 14 karat, but yeah. They're a good find. I'll show you the inside. Can I open this? Oh, here's the receipt. Everything came up to 60. I definitely, you know, check it out. And I had a second look at it to make sure it's authentic. It definitely is authentic. Because, you know, Fico does, he does authenticity, whatever they call them, work. So he, he clarified that it is legit. <laughs> look at the inside. So cute. The little Jordans with the gold around it. This also has the little sparkly stuff but yeah $65 can't go wrong like I said these retail for a high price now so you know I had it to get that uh, another sneakers that I purchased now um this is Air Max I purchased I purchased this at um what is it called darn it L Train Vintage I keep forgetting the name of the thrift store so I paid $25 for this the tag is still on it this was purchased yesterday when I went thrifting $25 can't go wrong um what I'm gonna do the insoles yeah the insoles are still there yeah that's the original it's the original insoles um my size size 8 what I'm gonna do with this sneaker I'm gonna change the lacings cause I don't like it it looks you know, it makes the shoes look kind of grayish. I'm going to change the lacings to uh, infrared lacings to make it stand out a little bit. Because it doesn't look like it, you know, stand out that much here. So. It doesn't look like it stand out that much. Um, At the bottom, it looked like this shoe has been worn a couple of times as well. Not bad. It's not worn down because you can tell that when the shoes is worn down discs the um the heel part start to decrease a little the you know deteriorate i'm sorry the heel part start to deteriorate a little so it's still pretty solid the bubbles pretty you know pretty healthy um I know there's a way you can check the tag and see what year the shoes came out. Okay, it came out in 2012. Most sneakerheads uh, know this, but some people don't. Um, usually on the, the the tongue part of the sneaker, it will tell you the year the shoes actually came out. As you can see right here, it says 9-6-2012. Made in China, you see right there. I don't know what this date means. Or is it this date when it came out over here? Same thing. Same year. So, you know. But I know for a fact these, the dates right here are pretty legit. It has two dates on it. But we know for a fact it came out in 2012. Whichever we, whichever date came first. It came out 2012. Okay? So, it's going to last a good time. Yeah, like I said, the bubble is still pretty healthy. So, you know, we're pretty fine. I'm going to change the lacings. I wish I could change this part, you know, where the lacings come through to infrared color. That would be so dope. Because I want more infrared on the sneaker. I want the sneakers to, I like my sneakers to like, you know, pop out a little, stand out a little bit. Alright, so that's enough on the footwear. I also purchased two white shirts. Let me get them for you. Now, this is just a, a plain white shirt. Uh, I took some... Well, you'll see on the video that I previously um, shot when I was in a thrift shop about the white shirt. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it has a design here. You might not be able to see it right now. A regular plain white shirt. You can't go wrong with a white button up. Um, the brand is a Georgia. It's kind of like, you know, pulled in. Like they staple it all together. So whatever. It costed uh three dollars. Focus, focus. There we go. It cost it three dollars. I purchased two, so I paid uh six dollars altogether for the white shirt. Oh, and the Green Day shirt. I didn't tell you the price. Just in case I didn't tell you the price of the Green Day shirt. The tag is still on it. I didn't pop it. 
Green Day shirt also costed uh, six dollars. Focus. This camera take a while to focus. Come on, focus. It's not focusing. It's a. It, it costs six dollars. All right. So um, I also the day before I vlogged the thrift shop, I also. Um, went to the thrift shop again but this one i went to was in manhattan and i also um made a few more purchases so this is what i purchased at the one in manhattan so the ones that i show you were from the thrift shop in brooklyn so now i'm going to show you the items that i purchased from the thrift shop in manhattan okay so i found uh jordan's 11. <laughs> Yes, I always find sneakers. Not all the time. I do find clothes sometimes too, but yeah. Can't go wrong with, you know, finding sneakers, you know. The Jordan 11, as you can see, is low top. However, where is the insoles? So yeah, there's no insoles. Um, this cost, I still have the tag on it, $26.99. Basically $27. Of course, they wore the hell out of this sneaker. The sneakers is totally worn. Um, but for it to be worn, it's still in, you know, good shape. Clean it up a little, totally. Um, it'll probably, I'll probably need a, a new insole because, I don't know. Why they take out the insoles? A lot of people take out the insoles. Maybe because the sneaker is too tight and they try to take it out to, you know, loosen it up. Okay, this sneaker came out in 2017. Not bad. So, you know, we still got a good way. It's still glossy. Still glossy. Still, you know, no scratches from what I've seen. The only problem is the insoles missing. You know? Um, yeah, that's the only problem. This is the other side. $27. The bottom is kind of dirty. But not bad. Little scratches on the side. Um, what store did I get this from? Ah, uh, darn it! What store was it? I forgot. Uh, was it? It wasn't Crossroads. Uh, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Oh, I have the receipt here. It was Crossroads. I go to so many their shops. No, nah, this is from. No, nah, that's not for that receipt. But this receipt is actually. For, this is from the Goodwill. What I had gotten from the Goodwill is uh, some tea. It, it was from the Goodwill. That's from the Goodwill because of the sticker. You see the same Goodwill sticker. But I don't know what a receipt is. I normally stuff the receipt in the, in the sneaker so I could come back home and review it. But who knows where the receipt's at. But I got the receipt for this one. So this is the TNs. This material is like leather. These, the sneaker came out in 2017. 2017. I would, like, do Goodwill take out the insoles? I don't get it. Like, another sneaker with no insoles. Look at that. Do they take out the insoles? It don't, it don't smell. It smell like, it smell like the, the thrift store. You know how thrift shop has a particular scent to it? It still smell like the thrift shop. Maybe they probably take out the insoles because they don't want to, uh, to keep the scent maybe it is goodwill's the one who's taking out the insole because i don't understand how all the insole is missing well yeah i already have a, a pair of tns this is my pair i wear this all the time but i took out my own insoles because i took it out to wash it so here's what happened i took i because i wear this sneaker so much i always wear it at work since it's like i don't have that much but i do have a few black sneakers but this is like my most comfortable black sneakers and um i wore it so much it's starting to smell <laughs> so i decided to wash it one day and i took out the insoles look at that oh disgusting and i took out the insoles so i could you know wash the sneaker in the washing machine it still smells pretty clean so frico he his job was to put the clothes in the dryer and to take out the things that don't normally like you're not normally supposed to dry like if you're washing the hat you don't put the hat in the dryer like certain things you don't put in the dryer to dry you make it air dry by itself so he forgot to take out my insoles and my insoles 
shrunk like <laughs> it's not it shrunk it, it doesn't even fit in the sneaker like it used to like there's space look at that <laughs> yes and this is the original insoles for this sneaker I, I wear this all the time like so I'm, I'm gonna try to take a break I wear this and I wear my um black prestos but my prestos is deteriorating we're gonna talk about that in another video we'll talk about that in another video so yeah so here's the receipt for um these 10 like I said it's leather the price of this is ill like they put a snick a stick on anything like they have used gum this looks so disgusting like and they just slap the sticker on top of the gun they don't even remove it oh they're like oh we don't care it could be shit on the sneaker. We'll sell it anyway. Stamp that sticker on. Like, they don't care. <laughs> they do not care. $26. Ugh. Can't even look at it. I really got to take that off and clean it. Ugh. Look at the other side. Ew. Ugh. That whole sneakers needs clean. All right. So, all together. Uh, where is it? These two sneakers are on the same receipt because I had so much items like I didn't I had so much items like I pick up some for me, pick up some for my mom. I didn't know which how they collab it. But these two sneakers were on the same receipt. I'm looking at the receipt right now and yeah. Yeah, so my overall total was like about forty nine dollars. Forty nine dollars on the receipt. Alright. Um a few other stuff I purchased was these turtleneck sweaters can't go wrong and this is a plain simple turtleneck you can't go wrong with turtleneck especially for the winter and today I went to another Goodwill got the bag right here and I purchased um not really a crop top kind of like like a workout top it's pretty dope can't go wrong it look kind of crop top ish and it says, believe and achieve. You know, in nice little letters. It's pretty cute. You can't go wrong. I was going to use it to work out. I paid uh, $3. Because you normally they'll ask you, hey, do you want to round it up and, you know, donate a dollar or whatever, a couple cents. And I was like, yeah, sure. Why not? All right. So $3. You can't go wrong. Uh, You know shimmer design that stands out this is cute i think it's cute that's like the only cool thing i found in the whole store so yeah um that was my purchase for these last couple of days like i said before in these thrift shops sometimes you find things sometimes you don't however when you do find stuff make sure it's of good quality because you know sometimes even me i'll go in there and i'll try to find some stuff and it wouldn't be of good quality it would just like rip like but you know you pay for what you get you know at the end of the day some of these items are secondhand some of them maybe not be secondhand who knows who knows where these items was before so take your time and look through stuff and and get some of the things you want this was also a thrift shop purchase this oh this was like this was one of the like olympics usa oh is it it says right there no it says um new york yankees it does look kind of like the olympic usa jacket right yeah oh there's something in the back of it i also got this from one of the thrift shops a while back i paid i i don't remember it's been a while i'm in and out of these shops like crazy but yeah this was also a purchase but i tried like i said to get things with you no know, decent quality because when you wear it you want it to last that's why we go shopping even if it's the thrift shop we want to get it so it can last all right so i got some more videos coming subscribe but i'll see you in my next video all right bye